This is number five on some beginner laser projects and what I'm going to be showing you how to do this episode is to engrave on bamboo and to keep you from getting bamboozled. Coming up! Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop and here in episode number five on beginning laser projects I'm going to show you how to uh, laser engrave on bamboo and what I'm using is uh, the lid from this little plastic basket here that my wife picked some of these up at uh, I think it was some store called like Big Lots or something like that and this is actually going to be a, a Christmas gift and what I'm going to be doing is filling this little basket here with those little small one-shot bottles of alcohol, all different kinds. I'm going to completely fill this basket and the lid is going to be then put on top and I'm going to be putting some custom graphics on top. Now unlike uh, the previous ones here where I'm using ready-made graphics, you know, like downloaded from Design Bundles, I'm actually going to make them. I'm going to show you how I do it in Lightburn. So we're going to go to the computer and show you how to get all this laid out. Okay, here we are in Lightburn, and I'm using the uh, Comgro, Comgo Z1 laser, it's 10 watt output. This laser has limit switches, so therefore it has a homing function, so I'm going to be operating from absolute coordinates with my job origin and center. Okay, my piece of bamboo here is 10 inches by 6 and 3 quarter inches, so first I need to make myself a tool path. So click on this square up here, I'll make a square. I'll lock my padlock up here. So this needs to be 10. And this needs to be 6.75. I'll relock my padlock. I'll go back up here in my arrow. This is highlighted. I'll click on T1. That now becomes a tool path. That does not engrave. That just gives me a layout area of where my work needs to be when I'm all done. And I think right off the get-go here, we're going to get this into page center. Since I'm working off absolute coordinates, move to page center. Now I can start putting my graphics together. So this is all going to be custom. This isn't a downloaded thing here. So I'm going to click on text here. I'm going to type the word emergency. I'll go back here to my arrow and I'll just bring this over. Down here somewhere. Now I need to play with my font a little bit. Decide what I want to use. I know what I want to use. Just got to find it. Right there. Now I can make that a little wider. Take that to about 8. See how it looks. Down a little bit. I am going to be using... 4,000 millimeters per minute at 75% power and a fill. So now I need to add a little more text to that. So back here to text. Make that emergency stress kit. This up here. Bring this down about there. Maybe take that up a little bit. Now I want to put something in the middle. So what I'm going to do is bring in part of a graphic from something else. Okay, so I brought in a graphic here from something else, but I don't want the whole thing. So I'm going to scooch this over here, and I want to ungroup that. And I'm just going to use parts of it. Get up here, I want these little glasses. Grab those. And I'm going to group those. I'm going to drag that over here. I want this bottle. Oh, that's all one graphic. So, okay, we got the. So I got those glasses from this graphic. That's all I want out of that one. Now I'll bring in another one. Okay, I brought in another one here. I want to make sure I ungroup that one. And I just want parts of it. So I want this little goblet right here. So I need to group him so he doesn't come apart when I try to move things around. 
put him over there. I need to get this bottle, but I want to keep the graphics in it. So I'll select that. I'm going to move over here a little bit so I can mess with it. I do not want that. I don't want that. I do want the bottle as a whole. So I'll select him. I'm going to group it. Then I need to shrink it down. So let's take this down to 2.5. See how that looks. Bring it up here. Drop this down just a little bit. Take that up just a little bit. Okay, now my text right now is set to fill at 4,000 millimeters per minute at 75% power. That's uh, a good setting for bamboo. I right, take my new graphics here. And I'm going to set those to the same layer. Layer 2. And everything I've got over here I can get rid of now. So here is my graphic and I want to take to see how that's going to look. Go up here. Oh, not too bad. 27 minute engrave. I wonder how that would look with offset fill. I'll take a little preview of that. A little bit less engraved time. And I'm kind of liking the looks of that. Well, I may make a little change with my goblet over here. I don't think I want that completely dark. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to make that a different layer. And I'm going to set that to a line. And we're going to go 4,000 millimeters per minute. And I'm going to leave that at 80% power. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to ungroup that for a minute. And I'm going to take these little reflection jobs here. I'm going to blow this up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take that back to our offset fill. Now we'll take a look at this again. Well, I like the looks of that a little better. In fact, I'm tempted to do the same with the bottle. So I'll go over here, I'll select the bottle. And I'll ungroup that for the time being. I'll blow it up here. I'll take the outside, the bottle itself, and we're going to make that layer 3. Now I'll take another look. I'm liking that better. So on my glasses here, uh, I think I may leave those as they are. Now we've got an engraved time of 15 minutes and 46 seconds. So all I need to do is get it laid out on the laser here, focus it and frame it and engrave it. Of course, before you get started on doing your engrave, whatever piece of bamboo you have, you need to set your focus. And depending on what brand laser you have, you will need to set accordingly. So there I have my focus set and I am using air assist on this. You don't have to have it, I'm using it just because it keeps the soot away and I won't have to do very much sanding at the end. So I'm going to take the laser back home now that I have focused it. And I think I'm pretty close to having my piece in there where I need it. So now I need to frame that. And I'll be watching this very close to make sure I am in there where I want to be. I know you can't see the laser beam, but I can. And it looks like I'm going to need to move that to the left a little bit. I have mine set to frame slowly so I can watch the laser beam as it goes around. No, I'm actually pretty good there. Well, once I'm happy where everything's at, after framing, I'll just hit start, and away we go. Got one of these in your laser room? You certainly should. 
Yes, this one's dusty. Haven't had to use it. That's a good thing. Yes, engraving bamboo makes smoke. That's why I have a coat on. I got a shop door open over there to get a lot of the smoke out of here. And I know it's still probably a little bit hazy in here. So I didn't get it open right away. It's cold out there and it's snowing. But part of my PSA thing here, I like to put in all these uh, beginner laser project videos is wear your safety glasses if you're looking at that laser beam. I am obviously not. I'm looking at the camera. My goggles are laying over yonder there. And if you have children and or pets, do not have them in the area where you are laser engraving or cutting because pets and kids want to look at that laser beam and it will absolutely damage your eyes. Always keep that in mind. Also, stay in the area where you are laser engraving. Don't start your laser and just wander off and go somewhere. Something can happen. It shouldn't, but it can. So always be in the general area. And, and again, you know, fire extinguisher, have that in your laser room. They're not expensive. They're like $15 for the one I showed you there that I keep mounted on the wall right by the service door of the shop. Then we have a great big one that sits behind the drill press behind me as a just in case. Never had to use them. That's fine. But if I ever need to use them, I'll be glad I've got them. Okay, so it looks like our sign is all, not sign, my bamboo is all done here. So this is the look we have right here. And I will be putting that on the top of this basket. I will be putting a uh, coat of clear lacquer on this. And then that will go on top of the basket, which will be full of the little liquor bottles. So there again, turned out perfect. Bamboo. Um, I think she only paid two dollars for these little basket things and uh, I asked her it was at Big Lots. Whether your Big Lots or if you even have one by you has one of those or not, it's another th question. Okay, sometimes you can find these little bamboo shapes, not exactly like this, at Dollar Tree as a cutting board. And there would be a dollar twenty-five of course, and they would be fun to uh, practice on. Small investment. So again, uh, I will put link in the description on this particular laser. Of course, I can't put a link in the description on getting this because I don't know if your Big Lots is going to have one or not. I don't believe you can order these online. But if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.